I am Jason, and welcome to another episode of Historically Marked. Welcome to another sports edition. In this case, it's an Olympics edition. As a matter of fact, I'm standing in the spot where the first Olympic Games in the United States were first played. The United States has hosted eight different Olympics Games, both winter and summer. And I know the Olympics didn't really happen this year, as for obvious reasons. Need I explain? COVID-19. They were supposed to happen in Tokyo earlier this month and in late July in 2020. But, you know, there's always, they're supposed to, uh, they're rescheduled for next year, for all I know. So let's hope things are fine and dandy by then. But back to St. Louis. This was the site of the first Olympic Games played in the Western Hemisphere in St. Louis. The year was 1904. The same year St. Louis was hosting its World's Fair, or the Louisiana Purchase Expedition as some would call it, but this was to coincide with the festivities of what was going on, and it worked out to be a major financial success. It would be live on in history. So this is at Washington University outside St. Louis City, not too far from city limits. But yes, so many Olympic games were played here as well as other venues, which I'll explain later on. The structure behind me, the Olympic, um, logo that was actually installed here over a year ago so this is all brand new it's a great instagram worthy place and of course a great place to take video There's a lot of different history I'd like to show you, including Francis Field or Francis Olympic Field now. So I can't wait to show you, but I will show you a little close up first of the Olympic logo structure. So, all right. And as I was saying, this is the campus of Washington University as a lot of buildings have been built upon this place. It is also the Danforth campus, but check it out, these Olympic rings So it's quite a thrill to check out this historic site, which is still being used. As a matter of fact, it is still the one of the oldest major sports sum venues still being used today, west of the Mississippi River. And just within walking distance or diagonally from the logo is Francis Olympic Field, where Washington University Bears sports teams have their um, games. And in front of me is the main entrance, I should say, to the field. These are the classic iron gates. And these have plaques on them. I know it's kind of hard to read, but it says here, this gate erected by the Louisiana Purchase Exposition Company to commemorate the services of its president, David Rowland Francis. And I'm not sure what the other plaque says. Upon this field were held the Olympian Games and other athletic events during the Universal Exposition of 1904. And as the sign says, the facility is closed. In fact, all the athletic facilities are closed under further notice, obvious reasons. But if it wasn't for COVID-19, yes, I'm sure there'd be a lot of people out on that, on that field today. Whether it be running track or throwing footballs or kicking soccer balls all the empty grandstands. Not too far from the gate, actually just right in front of it in kind of a hard to see area, is this marker that was placed in last year in 2019, Francis Olympic Field. Talks a lot more about the history of what I was pretty much saying. As the marker was saying, these fields were continued to be used after 1904, starting in 1905 up until earlier this year, you know, when COVID hit, but you know, things can't be perfect. Some things gotta be put on hold. So maybe next year, hopefully things will be, you know, a little bit back to normal, I should say. So here is a better view of the field. Hopefully you can see the logo of the Washington University Bears. 
As you can see, the field is really clean, hasn't been used in quite a while. And far away, you can see the Olympic rings, hopefully. <laughs> so right now I'm on Forest Scythe Boulevard, which is parallel to the stadium and all that. But here is what's behind the score box. There is a sign, or what I call a marker. It's kind of an unusual place, and I will show you, I'll give you a close-up of it. And here is that close-up. Hopefully you can see it. If not, I'll read it out to you. The first Olympic Games in the Western Hemisphere were played on this site and in France's gymnasium as part of the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. These Washington University facilities are named for David R. Francis, 1870 alumnus and the St. Louis organizer of the Olympic Games and the fair. Francis also served as the mayor of St. Louis, governor of Missouri, U.S. Secretary of the Interior, and U.S. Ambassador to Russia. Here is a view as I'm putting my camera behind the gate. So what kind of sports were held here during the Olympics? Football, gymnastics, lacrosse, tug of war, wrestling, track and field, archery, cycling, and many others. So I hope you learned a great history lesson today. I am Jason. Thank you for watching this episode, the sports edition of Historically Marked. And happy travels, and I'll see you again soon.